our earth is full of minerals and these minerals our plants absorb through them we get and many minerals like metals we extract and use in our day to day life. But it is not possible to extract minerals from the large lumps of rocks, especially the plants can't use them. Their roots are far too tender to be able to penetrate the rocks. They can penetrate the soil and the soil is there on earth. From where did it come? Of course from the rocks. So soil is formed by the weathering of rocks. And how does weathering take place? First way is effect of water. You see water when it keeps running on any rock slowly slowly it leaves its mark, its impact that is the rocks keep on weathering. You must have heard Karat Karat Abhyas Jadmati Hot Sujan from where did it come? Because that rope was going on the rock. So the, because of friction the rock or the stone keep on breaking and that can also be caused by water. Not only this, some of the water gets collected in the cracks. As a result, when it is very cold, this water freezes. When water freezes, what happens? It expands. Water expands. Why? Because the maximum density of water is at 4 degrees Celsius. So when it reaches 0 degrees Celsius, density is less. Volume is more. So water expands and it is able to break the rock. Otherwise imagine, can water break a rock which is supposed to be so strong? But here it can. So only by flowing on rocks it can break the rock and also by freezing in the cracks it can. Secondly, change in temperature. When the temperature increases, the rock expands. When it decreases, it contracts. And this expansion and contraction is not uniform. And that also leads to breaking of the rocks. Thirdly, air. Just as water is able to break the rocks, even the wind and the air is. Due to the action of air and wind, the rocks move and they break. And the quality of the soil depends upon the kind of rocks it was made. Because those kind of minerals would be there. And also, how much of rock has weathered? What is the size of the particles of the soil? If they are large, rough and coarse, it will be sandy soil. If it will be very tiny and small particles, it will be clay soil. And if it is in between, then it will be loamy soil. In addition to this, many plants die and microbes also die and they add humus. So organic matter is also part of soil. The top, the top layer of the soil or the uppermost layer of the soil which is called top soil is rich in humus. So in a way you can say the organic matter also form soil and not just that actually you can say organic matter provides humus and so in a way part of the soil then sometimes in the cracks small plants grow or the roots of large plants reach the cracks and as they grow even they can break the rock. So plants also break the rocks. Now this itself should give you an idea that nothing is impossible. If soft and tender things like roots, air, water can break rocks, is there anything that you can't achieve? Nothing is there that is impossible. So another thing is there are symbiotic relationships, the lichens, which grow as patches on the rocks. They are actually 
a combination of algae and fungi and they produce certain chemical substances which also act on the rock and break them and change them into soil. So, this is the great story of soil. Soil is very important, it has to be conserved and one way of conserving is that if there are plants growing on it, the roots are able to bind the soil. They also slow down the water flow and they also slow down the air flow. So, same things which made soil can also spoil soil just as money can make us and money can also break us and so many things anything when in excess it can be harmful. So, when there is too much of wind or there is water then what happens if their flow is very high then the top layer gets washed up and that is called soil erosion. So, for conservation of soil it is important that there should be vegetation. When we cut forests another effect is that the soil erosion will take place and then slowly slowly a fully forest area can also change to a desert only because we did the folly of cutting trees and small plants and the roots which were binding the soil which were slowing down the flow of air and water they give away and the top soil is washed off and what is left is barren land.